Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Facebook Instagram spring collaboration using a pastel base. I've started this manicure off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and I'm using this polish from Sister Chick from Pure Ice from the Shine Collection and this one is called Rain and Shine and I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. And let's get busy with the manicure. I'm using a few plates from You Are Beautiful. This is You Are Beautiful 09, oh, number 15, <laughs> number 17, and number 18. And I'm just going to pull some images off of them. I'll be using a bunch of MDU polishes. This is number 22 brown. And I'm picking this image that just looks like tree branches. And I am going to be making decals today. So I'm going to set that to the side. And I'm using the MDU Brown again and MDU Blue number four. And I'm trying to get the little birds in blue and then the branches in brown. It doesn't turn out just perfect, but I'm, I'm okay with it. It's, you know, it's nail art. And images in the corner are so tough, so I'm using my little square or rectangular stamper. And you can see the little bird is blue and the branches are brown, but it's kind of funny looking. And this is my pen pay black that I'm using for the ladybug image. I'm going to use a different stamper. And that did not pick up. I'm not happy with that. Let's try it again. Shoop. And pick up beautiful much happier and this is MDU green number eight and I'll be using bundle monster and I can't remember what that one's called I'll try to remember to list it down below and as you see I've got rubber I had rubber bands wrapped around us because it was hard to get open and I'm trying to get this daffodil image don't like it we're gonna do it again Totally ruined that. Got green all over the daffodil. Third time's a charm, let's hope. <laughs> there we go. I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. This is Bundle Monster Orange and MDU Green. Like I said, I can't remember the names of the yeah the names of the Bundle Monster ones, so I will try to remember to list them down below. And I'm just getting these lilies, and I'm going to fill these in with some color. And I'm going to be using the same polishes that I stamped with. I normally don't do that, but I had them out and already had kind of a mess going on, so I'm just using a tiny little brush that I have trimmed down and this is just a generic paintbrush from some craft store that I have squished and trimmed to try to get it tiny and I'm just filling in those stems for those lilies need a little bit more of that green polish I normally like to fill in my decals with um, either holographic nail polish or using just some you know craft paint but like I said I had quite the mess with all the plates and paints and polishes I just decided to just go with what was already out see my little rubber bands got one around the bottle and one around the cap that one was really stuck and I live in a house with three men and um, my husband and my two sons and I just hate going to them all the time. Can you open this? So I was really learn really happy to learn that trick. I learned it from another YouTuber and her what was her channel? I'm trying to think. Maybe it'll come to me as we as we It was once upon an indie. I need to go check out and see if she's posted any more. Once upon an indie is the one that taught me that rubber band trick. So thank you. <laughs> I love that we all share our tricks and tr tricks that we've learned along the way. And I'm filling these lilies in. They were stamped in orange and I'm filling them in with yellow. 
figured that would look really cute. And I'm going to use this red. It's the red MDU for my ladybug. I ended up not using it to stamp with, but I had it out just in case. There's red, number nine. I'm just going to fill in her little dots. I didn't want to fill her face in. I wanted to leave that alone. I didn't want to fill it in red. I don't know why. Sometimes we never know why. And I thought about filling the tree in with little red dots too, like little berries. And I started doing it and I thought, no, nah, not really liking that. Just move on, do something else. So since it's spring, I thought I would put like little buds of leaves coming off of my tree. So I broke out the MDU green again. And I'm just going to use a dotting tool, just kind of dot around. Not making them look like really leaves, but like little buds of leaves popping out. So excited for the first day of spring. I hope you are too. Just dabbing those in there, just kind of willy-nilly. Not really any particular. I'm not trying to get like every single one of them or anything. Just trying to add a splash of color to that. I'm going to cover all these decals with a generous layer of Super Dry. This is one of my favorite clear coats for making my decals. And this was a tip that I learned from Char K. Another YouTuber that I love and I love that it's cheap you get it at Dollar Tree so it's something you can stock up on when you find it and it doesn't break the bank so and as I'm doing this I don't know if you saw on the ladybug but it kind of muddied the brush a little bit so I wiped it off on a paper towel before putting it back in the bottle and I'm gonna mush these all onto my nails there's my little bird on a branch. Probably not my favorite one out of these. And the ladybug. The ladybug was one of my favorites. I've been wanting to do some ladybug manicures since I saw he Angel's Heavenly Nails do her ladybug nails. So I had to get a ladybug on my nails. And here's my lilies. And I just pulled that end off. Just kind of use the edge of my nail to kind of break it off. And here's my daffodil. And it tried to come up, but it was savable. And then now for my little tree. Squish them on here. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my acetone and my cleanup brush. And this one right here is probably the messiest one, my pointer finger. That's okay. I'm going to try to get as much of it off as I can. While I'm playing with my cleanup brush, I might as well mention it. I use the Sonia Kushak Tools number 27. It's a an eyeshadow brush, and they're about ten dollars at my local Target, um, which sounds like a lot for a cleanup brush. But I can tell you, this thing I have been using the same brush for over, a, over well almost two years, and I paint my nails a lot, so this has got some. It was worth every penny I paid for it, and I really do like it. It's my favorite. I still own a whole bunch of elf brushes that I got for a dollar, and I hang under those too, because they work really nice, but I am bad hooked on this, this brush. So we got our cleanup done. Gonna fold that napkin over, and we're gonna top this one off with some posh top coat. And I will leave a link down below to the YouTuber Instagram collaboration, 
collaboration list and hopefully I will also have links to everyone's channel down below. So be sure to go check out all of the beautiful manicures that are going to come out of this collaboration. Got my orange wood stick. Gotta do some cleanup. I'm going to seal this ladybug in, capping those ends. And now for the bird on a branch, capping that one. And there you go. That is my spring manicure. I hope you like it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out all the other manicures. Till next time, be good to yourself. Bye.